Hello, dear doers. Welcome to this new video on selling strategies, namely cross-selling and upselling. Cross-selling consists in offering additional products that complement the customer's initial purchase. On the other hand, upselling involves suggesting alternative, upgraded versions of the product to the customer. Let's see how we can implement these strategies in Odoo to boost our sales. So let's start by going to our website application. In the e-commerce, um, I can directly go to my products and go to the Sharkism t-shirt. In the sales tab here, I have already the possibility to upsell and cross-sell my product. So let's start by cross-selling it with optional and accessory products. And what's the difference between optional and accessory products? Very good question here. So basically in Odoo, you can always put your mouse on the question mark to find out what an option does. In this case, you can see already that optional products are when the customer hits on the Add to Cart button. And in this case, um, they will be able to choose um, a suggested product in, um, for the optional one. For accessory products, it's more when the customer goes to the cart and then reviews their cart before the payment, then it will be suggested um, as an accessory product. So let's choose here an optional product. I will go for my sweatshirt. And as an accessory product, I will choose the cap. And then now we will upsell the product. So we will choose an alternative product, which is the bundle. And actually the bundle contains all my Sharkism collection, which is what we are looking for because I want to upsell the, the product. Let's go to our website to see how it looks. And I can directly go to the product that I've just configured. Wait a minute, I don't see the alternative product here on the product page. You're perfectly right. Actually, for that, you will need to add a specific block. So let's go to the edit mode and we can add a product block just right here. So in this case, I, for now, only see the newest products. But if I go to the filter, I can change this to see only my alternative products. And I can configure it however I want. For example, I can also change the template. Um, but in this case, I will leave it like this. I also want to make it a bit clearer to my customers what they're looking at. So I will add a title just here and I will customize it. So let's click on it and change um, the size. So I like it a little bit smaller. Um, I want it to be on the left side. And of course, I want to customize what is written here. So let's put, you might also like... I think it's perfect like this. So let's save it and see how it looks. Perfect. You can see the alternative product here. So let's add the product to the cart. I have my optional product that appears, appears right away. And then if I proceed to the checkout, I can see my accessory product just here. That's it for this video. Thank you for watching and see you next time.